Hello, everyone. This is a drawing of Igor Stravinsky, one of the classical music composers of the last century. He is most famous for composing the controversial piece of music, The Rites of Spring. He was drawn by Pablo Picasso, and this is one of the drawing exercises featured in the classic art book called Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain. Today, we're going to redraw this. While we draw this, I will start to tell you about how people improve their artistic thinking. You see, a person who's drawing a picture of a house is thinking in a very different way than a person who's, say, telling a friend what their house looks like. There are certain artistic thinking skills that you need to practice in order to get good at them. Because these thinking skills are so different from the ways that schools usually teach you, most people don't even know how to begin learning about art. Because of this, I'm going to give you some tips on how to learn more quickly in art class. For example, don't draw what something is, draw what it looks like. Strangely, this means that you need to forget what you're looking at. Instead, you will focus on its visual qualities like curves and bumps. Let me show you what not to do. You know that you have a person in front of you with a head, arms, legs, and hands. And if your only goal is to draw what something is, it's really easy. You already know how to draw people with arms, eyes, and hands. You've been doing this for years now, but you probably want to learn how to draw something so it looks right. And that involves shifting from drawing what something is to recording its visual characteristics. This shift is very learnable, and that is because your drawing skills are not in your hands. They're thinking skills based on careful observation. I've had many students who've had trouble with fine motor skills who learned how to draw really well. Drawing exercises are not meant to exercise the muscles in your hands. Instead, they're designed to change the way you think and see the world. Today, you're practicing observing line detail. This means you have to observe every line carefully and separately. Every line is different. They will be straight or curved or curly or bumpy or more likely a combination of these. Every curve is different. Some are gradual, some curves are short, some are sweeping, and some curl back on themselves. And every bump is different. There are sharp bumps, dull bumps, long gradual bumps that straighten out, and bumps that hook back on themselves. Your ability to capture detail improves when you practice recording the differences in the lines you observe. Now, your brain does not want to slow down and observe. Your brain is really good at figuring out what something is instead of what something looks like. There are really good reasons for this. When you are crossing a street, you do not want a brain that says, Wow, that's so beautiful. It has these glossy textures with bright red highlights and deep shadows, and it has these elegant gentle curves around the sides and the top, with these transparent curved triangles and distorted curved rectangles on the front and sides. Oh crap, a car hit me. In day-to-day -day life, your brain needs to be in recognition mode. It needs to focus on what things are in order to make fast decisions. The artistic mode of your brain is more observational. It cares more about the visual characteristics of what you see. Everybody's brain needs training to do this, and you get better the more you practice. Everyone who is learning to draw will want to take shortcuts. Your brain has not had a lot of observational practice, and it wants to stick with what it's good at, which is recognizing things. So when your brain sees a line with lots of bumps and curves in it, it will want to take the easy way out and just draw a general squiggle. The way to handle this is to slow down and record each bump and curve separately, but your brain will fight this. Every time you give in to shortcuts, it kills the detail and naturalism of that part of your drawing. There are not a lot of shortcuts in art. Anytime I know one, I will tell it to you. In fact, what I'm telling you right now is a shortcut. Being aware of what's happening in your mind helps you learn and improve way more quickly. Here's another tip. Slow down and take your time. In most subjects, the person who's finished early is often the smartest. In art, well, this is far from true. The person who's finished early is usually missed the important details that make an artwork come to life. They've taken a lot of shortcuts, and as a result, they probably didn't learn very much. On the other hand, most people find it more relaxing to slow down and focus on the quality instead of quantity. Now, you probably won't finish if you're observing closely. When you're learning art skills, it's much more important to do something small really well than to do a lot really poorly. Your art skills improve much faster when you focus on quality instead of quantity. 
anyone can finish a drawing without growing or getting any better. In fact, if your brain focuses on getting better, you will lose your sense of time and you won't realize how much time you have left to do your work. Nobody is going to put this old guy on the fridge at home. Just focus your mind on looking closely and doing a good job instead of finishing. Now, you may have heard the English expression, they can't see the forest for the trees. That means that a person is so focused on the details of an issue that they're missing the obvious parts of the big picture. In a way, this is happening with your drawing right now. Your mind cannot observe both details and shapes and sizes of things at the same time. This means that if you're purely focused on detail, your drawing is going to get really distorted. Some of you are really good at shapes and sizes, and this will drive you nuts. We will be learning how to get shapes and sizes of things later on. In the meantime, don't worry if your drawings become strange looking. As well, it is okay to cut things off. Sometimes things get so distorted that you run out of room. This is just fine. This is not going to affect how fast you improve your observation skills. This is often a sign that you're capturing details especially well. Go ahead and cut things off. This is so much better than squishing parts of a drawing together to make it all fit inside the frame. And that is it for this drawing. Today you've learned that drawing is a thinking skill that improves with practice. It involves breaking things down into their visual characteristics so you can make things look natural. You learned that your brain prefers taking shortcuts because it just wants to recognize things. But this doesn't often work out. But if you slow down and observe for quality, you can get better quickly. A side effect of this is that you probably won't finish your skill builders, and this one is probably going to be distorted and cut off. There are two steps that you can do next to improve your drawing skills. The first is to do what you practice today, but to use a photo or something real instead of a drawing. Often people will do a carefully observed drawing of their hand. It's also time to start learning about shapes, sizes, and angles. This is called proportion and will be a separate lesson soon.